Hey, Master Gardeners, I had a customer come into the office and bring some pin oak leaves, and on the back of it were some abnormal growths, which are called galls. We were a little confused at first, but come on over. We've got the midge, these little larvae of midge, in the microscope here in my car. See the little midge moving across there? He's just a little tiny, like, one thirty-seconds of an inch in my microscope. Let me try to focus him a little more. See him, see him moving. He has a little bit of stage fright. Yeah, there you go. See him right there, and then there's the, yeah, I'm sorry, there's the zoom in of him up there. Has a little red dot in his belly. They say sometimes they have a, like a blood color. But anyway, these are little midges, so come on over. Let's take a look at the tree. So this insect's called the oak vein pocket gall. Oak vein pocket gall. And galls are abnormal growths on a leaf when an insect lays her eggs into the tree or the plant, there's a stimulation that occurs inside the cell and the plant grows over top of the insect eggs to protect them. And then the insect egg will live inside there for this pocket gall. It'll live here and will not emerge from these pin oak leaves until late summer or fall. And so they'll be in here the whole summer season. The question is, is it damaging his tree? Well, you can see behind me, it's green and it's photosynthetic and the leaves are kind of strap like in shape. We'll zoom in on them in a minute, but it's really not damaging the long-term health of his tree at all. And like any insect, they're up one year, they're down the next, they're up one year, they're down the next. So you can't expect that just because you have them this year, they're gonna be in your tree next year. They're gonna live as larvae inside of these little galls, little tunnel galls that they've created all summer long and then they're gonna to drop to the ground where they're gonna overwinter and then they'll emerge next year as a midge, midge. And so how big are midges? Tiny. You know those little nyseums that get under your hat and kind of make you itch sometimes on a summer night? Those last size, that's the size that some of our midges are, really tiny. So let's take a look at the damage. This branch has really got some nice damage on it. See how there's curling, twisting and bending? When the gentleman brought these samples into the office, we at first thought it could have been herbicide damage because it does look like it, doesn't it? Because of that distortion, the twisting and bending and strap-like foliage. Look down here at some of these. This one has some brown foliage on it. Can you see the brown? A little bit of death that has occurred on his leaf. And you can see the pocket gall in the rose. This, this particular gall was unique to me. I've never seen it before because it does the egg laying in the veins areas of the leaf. Look at this twisted, bended one. This one's really torqued and twisted up. Can you see all that twisted and bending? So some of these are really torqued up, but traditionally most of the leaves look just like this one, where the insect has followed the veins, and that's what you were viewing in the microscope, were these little insect inside. So not to be of concern, just something interesting called the oak vein pocket gall, Master Gardeners.